Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 66. Today we show you an alternative to Google Takeout that lets you migrate your G Suite account to another Google account. In Tech Tuesday number 64, we covered Google Takeout. It's an easy way to export some or all of your Google account data, and it works for all Google accounts. Today we cover Google Account Transfer, a feature exclusive to G Suite for Education accounts. Google Account Transfer is located in your account page. You can get there by either clicking on your profile picture in any Google service and choosing Google account, or you can go directly to it by going to myaccount.google.com. Again, this is only available for G Suite for Education accounts. Once there, you, you may see transfer your content. If you do not, it may not have been activated by your G Suite administrator. You might want to reach out to them to inquire if it's a deliberate decision by the tech office or it simply hasn't been activated. You can even send them this video as I'll include a link in the description to the support documentation for G Suite admins. Account transfer is different than Google Takeout in that you aren't downloading your data. You're instead migrating the data directly to another Google account. This saves you a lot of headache for downloading, storing, and then uploading the data back into another account. Most of the time you're not planning on leaving a Google ecosystem. You're just leaving a workplace or graduating from a school, but you'd like to keep all that data in Google. Now, before you start the transfer process, it's important to know what will be moved and what won't. Okay, what is copied is any email in Gmail. This does not include contacts, chats, or tasks. The second thing that's moved are documents that you own in Google Drive. The exception is Google Photos. Any other documents you have in My Drive are also transferred over, with a few exceptions. Files in which you're the viewer, but not an editor or an owner, are not copied. If the owner has also turned off any download, print, and copy options, even if you're an editor, you don't have the option to copy this. Remember, you need to go to Shared With Me and add those files to your drive that you want copied. In summary, the things in Drive that get copied are any files that are in my drive, in which case you are the owner of or you have editing rights and the owner has not turned off download, print, and copy. So you just need to remember to go to Shared With Me and take all those files you'd like to keep and go ahead and add them to your drive. Okay, so now that you've prepared, you wanna click on that Start Transfer button takes you here. It's then as easy as one, two, and three. Step one, you need to type the destination account email that you want the data transferred to. This will be a Google account. Then you're gonna click on send code and it's going to send you a special verification code to that account. You'll check that email account for the code and you're gonna type it into there and then you're gonna verify. Go into your other email account and check your mail for something that says verify your account. When you get there, you're gonna to wanna to click on get confirmation code. It takes you to a page where it shows the confirmation code, in which case you can select it and copy it and go back into the other window, put in the confirmation code and verify. Once that's done, you get to choose whether you want to move content in Drive or in Gmail and then click Start Transfer. The copy process usually happens within a few hours, but it can take up to a week if you have a ton of information in there. Copy files might appear in batches in your Google account during the copy process. And when your files are finished copying, you're going to get an email at your Gmail address. It's important to know that this is really only for Drive and email. No other things are copied over. Calendar contacts, nothing else. So this is kind of inferior in some ways to Google Takeout. However, it's a lot more user friendly and particularly for Drive, all of those files get moved over and they don't get converted into Office documents that you download and then have to re-upload. All your structures and your, fo your folders and everything else move over, so that's nice and clean. One thing to note is that you will automatically become an owner of all the copied files. It doesn't change the files that are still in your old account. It, you'll just become the owner of the copied files that go into the new account. The copied files will not be shared with anybody. You have to reshare them if you want to do that. Comments are copied, but revision history isn't. Other than that, it's a pretty clean copy. Another thing to remember is that this does not delete the originals. Um, generally, you do this as the last thing you do before you leave an organization. This is particularly helpful for students who are graduating, um, either high school or college, or employees who are leaving, but they're moving to another organization that has Google, or they'd like to just move their data to their personal Google account. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button. Heck, why not support us and subscribe? Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video in the comments below. Share this video with your friends, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.